In this demonstration, we're going to look at the primary use case for Visa and File Services, which is providing uh, read write many file shares for Kubernetes persistent volumes. Now, we already have some uh, volumes already created. We have a native file share as well as a file share that's already in use as a volume. But here, if we go out to our CLI, we will build a new one from scratch. We're going to create a new storage class and a new persistent volume claim. You can see them there, and a reference to the CSI driver is in the storage class as well. Uh, we have a number of PVs and uh, storage classes already available, but as I said, we're going to build some new ones. And so this is our new storage class and persistent volume claim getting created. And these are tagged as demo2. You can see the storage class is in place and the persistent volume claim is in place now as well. And so we should have a persistent volume uh, built on our behalf too. And we can see it there, two gigs, again labeled with the demo2 claim. So let's go back to our UI. Let's refresh it. And now what we should see is that we do indeed have a new container volume which is backed by a vSAN file share. So this can now be consumed by Kubernetes. We can go and look at the CNS overview, dropping down to our monitor container vols view. And in here we should see a whole bunch of information that's been bubbled up by CNS about our particular volume. To make it easier to find, we can include the type field. We know that it's a type file. So we have two file volumes here already. Uh, or one is the PVC 53D as uh, shown there. And again, CNS can show us various information such as the persistent volume claim and various piece fair information. Health status hasn't filled in yet, it'll come in in a while. Now at the moment, we don't have any pods using this persistent volume. So what we're going to do now is we're going to deploy a few pods that are sharing that volume. So the pod A demo two and pod B demo two that we can see here. So those are created, and just to make sure that they're consuming the volume, we can actually uh, exec a shell into one of those uh, pods and see that the file share has indeed been mounted directly into the pod. So a simple DF, and we can see it there, and that is coming from our vSAN file services, and it's mounted directly into the pod on slash MNT slash volume. So a quick refresh now, just to have a look at what CNS has bubbled up now that we have some pods uh, attached to the volume or consuming the volume. And there we can see that the pods are there as well. So that completes the demonstration.